Today we're gonna take a drive to the art store. Hey, what's up? If you're new here, my name is Roly. I'm an artist from Miami, Florida. I publish a lot of art tips and art content. I am a self-taught artist, even though I learn every day, so I'm not really self-taught, but point is, I didn't go to school for anything, so uh, just take that to account. You're really listening to my opinion. And if you are returning to this channel, then you know for a fact that I like to think outside the box when it comes to art supplies. Uh, but sometimes you gotta fork out the cash. And if you haven't seen those previous videos, I'll set an example right up here in this corner. We gotta go to the art store, we have to spend the money, because these are two of my most favorite items. They're super, super important when it comes to canvas work and mural work. And what I'm referring to are these Medium Aquarelle by Grand Dash, Karen Dash, Karen Dash, however you call it. But these are basically watercolor pencils. And what I do with these is I basically sketch out my background or sketch, sketch out my subject, especially if I have to maintain some sort of proportion to the artwork, um, because then I can go over top of them with the paint and I'm not left with a permanent pencil marker or a permanent you know, marker mark or whatever. So it's super easy to apply and remove. All you need is water. So what I usually use is a sponge to basically undo the line that I just did and if you've seen my Lion King mural, I basically did the entire sketch for that Lion King mural using these Aquarelle markers and these generic paintbrushes. So I'll link to that video right up here as well. And these, I'm not sure if they're like some sort of special brand, but they feel really good in my hand and they paint really well. There's a bunch of little angles and little sizes. So this is a whole kit and I'm not really sure how much I spent on them, but you can get the entire kit and keep it with you because it's going to be very essential to you. So you got these watercolor pencils and you've got these paintbrushes. Now on the watercolor pencils, I like to go with a slate gray or a 10% sepia. So, and I just basically keep these in stock at all times. So I have a kit that I take with me for my mural kit that I keep in storage and that's pretty much just load and go and ready for the mural. But then I have the same set for my canvas at the studio. So when I'm gonna do stuff on the easel on a canvas, I use these at home as well. So I always keep a, a copy of two. So let's head on over to the art store. All right, so we've got our art supplies and we are on our way back. But I just wanted to touch up on a previous topic that I was trying to make in reference to saving money on budget art. I'm not necessarily saying to sacrifice quality. There are a lot of things you can get at the hardware store. There are a lot of things you can get at even the dollar store without having to look like that the end product is a dollar store end product. You can definitely deliver great quality by thinking outside the box, saving yourself a little bit of cash in the process. So I previously made a acrylic paint video where I'm comparing and contrasting art store brand paint to hardware store or department store brand. And I'm gonna link to it right up here, but you guys responded pretty well to it. It received a lot of great video response, so I'm gonna keep creating content of that nature. And I like to post tips, I like to post uh, different tricks, and I, like I said, I like to think outside the box when it comes to saving money because the art stores are expensive. That's just the bottom line. Sometimes you do need to pay, like for example today. You need to buy, you know, paint brushes. You need to buy spray cans. For example, I'm not gonna buy, um, oh, yeah, that's Miami driving for you. I'm not gonna buy, uh, I would say paint, spray paint from a dollar store, but there's a lot of stuff you can buy, tape, you know, cardboard. There's other stuff you could buy at the dollar store. There's other stuff you can get at the hardware store. And so I just wanted to touch back up on that point. That end product, is what you need to focus on. So the materials and the supplies that you use to get to that end product does not have to be top quality name brand. It just doesn't. I'm gonna show you a quick little example on how I use these Aquarell watercolor pencils to sketch out my canvases and my mural jobs. Okay, so we are back. And I just wanted to make a quick little side note. This paper pad that I'm using is by Canson. It's a Canva paper. 18 inch by 24 inch, so it's a standard frameable size at 136 pounds. 
Uh, it's not that expensive, but this is where you do want to spend your money. It's on the paper. Again, certain things you do want to spend your money on and certain things you can go cheap on without affecting your end product. This is one good example. You need to spend your money on great paper. So this is Canva paper. I've already went ahead and hit the background with Montana black spray paint. Um, I like to use this as opposed to canvases because sometimes these canvases, they can get a little heavy, a little expensive when it comes to shipping and stuff like that. And sometimes people just want limited edition prints. So when it comes to limited edition prints, I use this Canva paper and I just roll it up in a tube and ship it off to its new home. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So before we go ahead and draw some lines, I want to mention a quick tip that is good to have if you want to transpose an image and keep its proportions from a picture from your phone onto a wall or onto a canvas. And it's an app that you can download. It's called Grid. I'll put a picture up here or a link to it here. Or it'll be somewhere, but it's called Grid and it's intended for iOS. You can download it and basically take any picture that's on your phone, snap it to a grid, and it'll print out that grid and you can show how many grid lines you want. That way when you print that out, you just go straight to the wall and plot out your grid line. So that's another good tip to have and it's a great tool. I use it all the time. So let's go ahead to our Caron Dash. I'm probably butchering the name, but this is the Museum Aquarel uh, watercolor pencil that we just purchased. And let's just go ahead and sketch out a few lines. Again, this is the slate gray on a black sheet of canvas paper. So we're gonna go ahead and just sketch out some sort of design here. We're not gonna go too crazy. And then for this particular demo, I'm gonna be using a microfiber towel. Okay. And it's as easy as that. All we have to do is just wipe away the unwanted lines. So let's say you gotta make a perfect circle or you're drawing a hand or you're drawing an eyeball and you step back, which is good every now and then to step back and analyze the overall picture of what you're drawing. Because here at arm's length, you're drawing and drawing and drawing, you may lose perspective. So if you step back, especially if your grid is not plotted out. So you wanna just wipe this out. Just like that it's really good to correct the lines and correct the sketches so again it will leave no residue whatsoever as opposed to using a number two pencil we're going to go ahead and wipe you can wipe it completely clean and also if you do want the effect you can smudge it with your finger smudge it with your finger and get that soft smudge effect so Go ahead and wipe it all away. Apologize for not taping this down, but this is just for demo purposes to show you what these pencils can do and how effective something so inexpensive can be for your overall art project. So there we are. So what do you use to sketch out your projects? Do you go straight to the paintbrush and just improvise? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm interested in finding out your story. I wanna create an art community here on my channel. So if you're interested in art related content just like this, please click on the subscribe button because I will be uploading on a weekly basis. If you wanna check out my art brand, head on over to zicotribe.com. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.